Hello everyone, I hope you are well and I hope that you have had a really nice day so far. Today we are here and we are going to be discussing over a new study that we have done this morning and that was Live Your Life Purpose by Lisa Nichols. So, one of the main points that I took from this morning's study was when Lisa said to us, are you willing to disrupt? Are you willing to disrupt? For me, when that was mentioned and after I had thought over of what I thought that meant to me, I realised that her idea of disruption really wasn't about causing disharmony in the environment it was more to do with creating a state in ourselves that is true that follows the virtues of bravery loyalty and truthfulness because I thought of it as this if you are loyal to yourself i.e. to who you really are to your well-being and what makes you feel great then more than likely that is not going to negate anyone else actually feeling great one may think so i may believe and in that same thought this means that we have to be brave we are brave you are courageous and so now are you willing to disrupt are you willing to be courageous to the point that perhaps your authenticity may actually cause for others to be at unease because they are not as authentic with themselves perhaps I think that is what Lisa Nichols was trying to convey to us she is a great speaker and then last of all that point resides on the fact that we have to be truthful to ourselves so following the stomach the summary the summary yeah, that we had yesterday this means that we have to scrutinize that which it is that you and me are interacting with and we have to ask ourselves questions relating to the level of growth 
or the level that whichever it is that we are interacting with leads us actually to decrease our own well-being we have to be truthful we have to be truthful with ourselves and so are you willing to disrupt if you are then perhaps thinking over those three virtues of loyalty bravery and truth or truthfulness may allow you to find the path towards <laughs> disruption <laughs> and in that sense equanimity in yourself that state of calmness that state of bliss the second point that Lisa Nichols said that really made me feel great and resonated with me was the point that you or me should not allow for others to dim our light and our energy what do you think about that what do you think do you go through moments or experiences where you feel that hey i was feeling fantastic and now i have had this experience and now i am feeling somewhat deflated perhaps do you go through experiences like that you do Well, this is the point now, I think that Lisa was really trying to point us on a path to. If we are going into experiences like that, it is because we are allowing of them. For the fact that we have a choice in it. We have a choice whom it is that we engage with. One may think. So I believe. She also said, make your dreams non-negotiable. And wow, oh wow, do I like the sound of that. Make your dreams non-negotiable. Because if they are non-negotiable, then there is an answer. There is a mode by which you are to be operating from. Because it's already non-negotiable. It's there, it's done. My dream is not negotiable. I'm not going to have a discussion about whether or not I am going to ensure the well-being of myself is met. No. <laughs> the last point that I'm going to share with you that I have written down is say no to self-sabotage. Say no to self-sabotage. And so that to me meant that me and you 
we both strive to ensure that we are serving our well-being consciously. And that was part one. Adios muchachos. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.